Hello everyone, it's Tolani here and today I have another awesome tutorial for you guys in Node Video Editing app on how to color grade your footage to look more Hollywood and cinematic. It's pretty easy to do, don't be freak out, even if you don't have knowledge on color grading or color correction, this video will really get you covered. I'll walk you through my workflow from start to end. The most amazing part of Node Video Editing app is that it has an option where you can save your workflow as custom lot and share your color grading style with your friend as preset or use it on your next project to speed up your edits. Then please if you enjoy my content and gain value from it, please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more to join the conversation. And also also, you can check out my free note video editing load pack and intro template to speed up your edits 10 times faster. I put the link in the video description. So, without further ado, let's jump right into note video editing app app. Let me show you my workflow on how to make your clips, my clips, look more crispy and cinematic. So here we are on the this node video editing app. First thing we have to do is to create our composition by setting our project setting to 1920 by 1080p. Then our frame rate 30 frame or 24. Then preview resolution leave it at 25 in order not to have issue with the playback. Then your preview rendering mode you leave it to all layer for now. So what we're gonna do next is we wanna import the footage you want to color grade. It's very pretty easy to do. So we wanna click on this plus icon right here. Then you wanna go into your folder and bring in those videos you want to color grade. So here is the first video, I'm going to hold on and click on it. Here is the second video, hold on it. Then here is the last video, hold on it. Then I'm going to click in on select. So you're going to import them into my what? Into my timeline right here. As you can see, these are the video right here. This is the first video, second video, third video. Then if you want to rename them, you just click on it. Then you click on this pencil icon to rename them. The next one, you do the same. And so after that, it's now time to edit your what? To edit your timeline. So what we're going to be doing now is we want to trim out the unwanted parts of your video so you can have your in and out points in the right timeline playback. So what I want to do now is I want to play up this video right here and see what's actually going up so I can know where I want it to be. So at this spot right here, I want to cut this. I'm going to click on it, then click on this scissors right here. So I'm going to go, this is the cut. So I'm going to click on this video right here and come down to this post. So I'll come down to this line right here and hit on delete. So I delete that spot right there. I'm going to go, click on this next video and drag it all the way. Make sure that this, this snap tool is on because if it's off, you're not going to be having that precise end of this first clip right there. So but when it is on you're gonna have the precise end of the clip can you see the clip is gonna work it's no it's gonna snap towards the end so i'm gonna work i'm gonna play the second clip as well to know where i actually want to trim out so for this video i'm gonna be doing that very fast so that's how you can trim out your in and out points of your video so now i have the trim out part so this is the in and out end point of the first clip and the second end in and out of the second clip right here and the third clip in and out clip so what i'm going to be doing now is to create an adjustment layer for, for the color grading because i don't want to start doing color grading for each and every one i want to color grade everyone all together without losing the what the color profile for those that haven't seen my previous video where i explain on how to use adjustment layer in mood video editing app to apply effects across all your footage you can check the link in the video description i put a link in the video description so without further ado so i'm going to click on this plus icon then go to group the group works as an adjustment adjustment layer in node video editing app so that is what we're going to be using to what to apply our color grading and to entire clips so we're going to click on it so right here you have the group so what we're going to be doing now is i can just come down here hit on this pencil icon right here and hit to change the name i'm going to change it to adjustment adjustment layer then i'm going to hit on okay as you can see i'm going to have in this adjustment layer right here as you can see right here so when you click on this this is what you should have all the three footage right here as you can see it the adjustment layer is at the top and where other three video are what are beneath it so anything i apply on the adjustment layer is going to affect all the clips right there without losing profile or color correction so now we have created the adjustment layer what next to do is just to click on the first video and drag it into the adjustment layer so we can use it as 
so you can use it to color grade the entire clip since all the footage are shot on same log profile and even if they are not shot on same log profile same approach still apply it's just a matter of what knowing what you're actually going for so now what we're going to be doing is to click on the adjustment layer so as you can see the first video is in there so what we're going to do is to click on this plus icon right here and where we start the word the color correction first you need to know how to make a color correction because there is no way you can color grade a footage without knowing the exact amount of color correction you need to do well, because the color correction is the most paramount aspect when it comes to color grading once the color correction is failed then the color grading will actually fail but once the color correction is actually Actually perfect then your color grading would actually thumbs out crispy so what we're gonna be doing now is color correction I've made tutorial about color correction you can check links in the video description so you can be perfect in color correction it's very simple so what I'm gonna be doing now is to click on basic correction so now we have this tab right here for the correction so we're gonna click on this white balance right here then you click on this so you're gonna see a lot of option right here they are very simple to work around so once you start what working around on this and start seeing what changes they are making on your footage definitely be used to them and be getting a perfect result in color correction which will lead you to accurate grading so what we're gonna be doing now is i want to make my white white then i'll make my black black then the screen i don't want it to be affected i don't want everything to overexpose or underexpose so i want everything to be what in accurate measure so what i'm going to be doing now is come to my black i want to make sure that my black is black which i'm going to be trying to move this a little bit down to negative 28 8 you can leave it at 29 you can dive around with that to see what actually work for your footage you got this is not a permanent figure for all clips it varies depending on the the indoor and outdoor shots next so next what we're going to be doing is my white balance i'm going to make sure my white is white i'm going to make sure the black and the color in there are accurate so what i'm going to be doing is i'm bringing my white balance to negative 41 as you can see right here the white is becoming crispy with the color tone of the skin everything is start coming out good so what i'm going to do i'm a fan of deep shadow and deep black so i'm going to be drawing this shadow all the way down to have that shadow when i increase it i'm going to blow out the shadow but i love deep shadow because it gives me that crispy image i'm going to drop my shadow all the way to the negative 38 good so what i'm going to be doing next is my highlights my highlights i'm going to make sure that it doesn't affect overall lights in the shot you can see when i increase it it's going to affect overall lights in the shot so what i'm going to be doing for my highlights is i want to make sure that my highlight is on 30 is about 38 can you see so now my contrast my contrast i don't want my contrast to be way high because when it's high it's going to be giving me that dark image can you see so i don't want it to be over exposed because it's gonna blow out all the black and other color i want to make sure it's minimum so i'm gonna bring it down all the way to 11. good so what i'm doing for the gamma the gamma is it affects overall color shadow cast on the image since i have black and tone color in the image so i don't want it to overcast it what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna reduce it all the way can you see when I overdo it, it's gonna blown out all the color in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reduce it to about negative one. So I have that crispy look, good. Then my exposure, my exposure is highly important. If my if your video has much light in there, you don't need to what you don't need to add more exposure because it's gonna blown out everything. As you can see, when I reduce it, it's gonna drag. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I want my exposure to be around 0.07 because I have more light in the in the in the shot so now i'm done with the tone without affecting the skin in the what in the shot so what i'm going to be doing now is come to my temperature the temperature is where you have that crispy look so we're going to make sure that your temperature is accurate with the light in the shot so if you increase the temperature can you see the the the, the overall light is going to be what is going to change when you reduce it to i'm going to bring a cool light so when you drag it a little bit it's going to give you that dusty look it's going to give you a dusty look it depends on what you are going for but for this footage i think giving it a temperature about negative 24 will be okay negative 24 will give you that cool gym look 0.4 will give you that gym look color grading so what i'm going to be doing next is to close up the, all these tab right here so we have done for the word basic color correction which is now giving us a crispy look which you can tell from previous look of this footage so what we're going to be doing now is click on this plus icon right now and go to color grading like i said earlier if your color correction is not perfect there is no way you can get accurate color grading. so you need to dive in into color correction perfectly so you can have accurate color grading so what i'm going to be doing is just a, a simple tips on color grading because i have done my 
color correction perfectly so i don't need to do more work on my color grading so what i'm going to be doing now is click on all this tab right here you have this option right here so what you want to do is you want to go to temperature since you have correct your temperature in the basic color correction aspect we just finished you don't need to, to dive into temperature more because it's going to be running the shot what you're going to be doing is you want to drag this all the way to negative two now it is a little bit twist on it so now what we're going to be doing now is add on to your exposure since this image right here is over exposed as you can see it's not bringing the dark skin color tone so i'm going to make sure that my exposure is away below because i want to have that clip see dark skin tone in this atmosphere so what i'm going to be doing now is drag my exposure all the way to negative 27 good can you see the skin as now what maintain is its natural look in the atmosphere so the last thing i'm going to be doing is add on to this contrast and make sure your contrast is three to give you that nice crispy pumps out screen so now i've done with this so i have this crispy image so now you can close all this tab right here so you don't get confused so now we have our adjustment layout that we have applied our color grading into it so when we move this so now when we move this video out of this adjustment layer right here and move it out this is how it looked before then this is how it look after we have just the color grading so can you see how creeps this cinematic look so when i move it out again this is how it's going to be looking so when i move it into the adjustment layer because the adjustment layer comprises of the color grading and the color correction so any footage i drag into the adjustment layer is going to maintain that that profile color grading so for this clip right here i'm going to be dragging it into this and all the rest i'm going to be dragging them into this composition layer right here so you see how they actually look so the so the second clip i'm going to drag it all the way so when we have a look of it this is what we should have to so see when i move it out this is how it look is over is over casted in this but when i move it into my color grading and color correction adjustment layer it's going to correct that exposure and all the contrast and the rest so as you can see right here is maintaining its correct profile so likewise if i move this as well into this profile this can you see this is before of this clip right here can you see it's overexposed then when i bring it now it's maintaining its correct profile so let me play all the footage in this adjustment layer right here before i will now show you how to import this adjustment layer as a lot preset where you can share it with your friend and i want to use your lot and be sure to check out the link in the video description i have free mode video editing lot pack and intro templates i can use in your edit to speed up your edits and please if you enjoy my content and you have been gaining value from it please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more so without further ado let's continue so now i'm going to be clicking on this adjustment layer now right now and play all the footage in there so you can see it here with sound design and sound effects so you see how it actually looks so let's go Awesome, right good so what we're going to be doing now we want to save this as presets and so what we want to do is click on all this footage right here and delete all the footage in there good so now you have this only this adjustment layer that comprises of all these all this color grading and color profile so anything you import any footage you import into this is going to work maintain that same color profile and color grading so what i'm going to be doing now you want to save this adjustment layer into your gallery so you can share with your friend or you can as well use for your future project so you can speed up your edits you just come down right here and go to save you hit on your save you want to make sure that your your export rate is set to high then you make sure this is on you want to on this icon that say append templates do you want to make sure it's in that you can auto you can change it you can put your name but for this tutorial i'm going to be using this my i'm telling you that you shouldn't forget to subscribe to my channel and this is the name of the lot preset that you are using that we just created which is scripty lot Preset. you can find links to many of it in the video description now you're gonna click on export so that will export into your folder so when else you want to use it or you want to send it to your friend to maintain that same style of color grading you can send it to them on whatsapp on facebook on whatever so let's say this is empty area so you want to import that template so you can start new edits so that is where i want to show you here and please be sure to hit the like button if you like this video if this video is more informative please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more so what i'm going to be doing now is just come to this 
plus icon right here then you add on to import so you're gonna see these two options right here that same project and template but now we import our lot so one of these so it is called template so we're gonna click on template they're gonna bring you to where you want where the where you save it in your folder then i'm gonna come down to node video template i have many of the templates you can check the link in the video description to download all these i have intro templates to speed up i have so many transitions so you can download it and start using it on your edit so to speed up your editing times faster it's free you can check links in the video description so what i'm going to be doing now this is the lot we say we just create i'm going to click on it so you're going to be reading it so no video app is going to read this as encode it's going to decode it because it has this this code i don't know the name of this stuff right here you can tell me you can you can leave me a comment about it you can tell me in the comment section about that so now you see this is the preset we just this is the preset so what we're going to be doing now is just to hold on this click on the real preset inside the folder then drag it out then you can then delete this guy right here because that is not the preset so that this is the preset so this is the preset right here you see it's showing me that that is adding a color profile so what we want to do now is just come right here and import the video you want to color grade i'm going to bring that same footage we just color grid so now when i bring the footage right here this is how it actually do but when i drop it into this my lot adjustment layer can you see it look creepy right so awesome so that is how you can save your lots presets and share with your friend to maintain that same color profile editing style so hope you get the game value out of this video if you did please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and as always we come to the end of this video if you get value out of it please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and share with your friend and i'll see you in the next video peace and be blessed